Morning boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. We are back on the truck shop series. So we are actually heading back over to the shop. I just picked up a new truck and I was talking to some guy about buying a piece of property so I can store some vehicles that I'm going to be keeping and I'm going to be building a house as well. I am so sorry. As you guys can tell, we have the brand new signs put up. We've got one right there and one over there. And we also got the, uh, but yeah, we don't have a fence all, all the way around the shop here and it looks like my new machine has arrived for snow plowing. The, this is the brand new truck that I purchased off somebody. Pretty nice looking truck, I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot. It's gonna be our new uh, shop truck, so I'm gonna leave the Ford where it's at for now. But we got a brand new Bobcat and a brand new PJ Gooseneck trailer. And the Bobcat has a snow plow on the front of it because it's gonna be snowing here, I think, tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the doors here. And I have a customer on the way because he wants me to build up one of his trucks into a nice looking rig for the snow as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Michael away because I forgot to do that. Very well, I just got off the phone with the customer and he should be here any minute to drop his truck off. And we are still trying to get that for sale. So hopefully somebody does buy that soon. But already well, the guy should be here any minute because I just got off the phone with him. So we are just gonna be waiting for the uh, guy to get here. I guess is a 6 out Duramax, I'm not 100% sure. Alrighty, it looks like he's here. Man, is that thing loud. Yeah, just come up. Come up here, come on. Come on, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Alrighty, well, this is the truck that we're gonna be uh, working on here. He told me what he wanted on it. It's a Denali HD, obviously, and I guess this thing's super loud, which I already heard it when he was pulling up. So he wants me to go all out on the rims, the lift, uh, see if we can try to get some rock lights on it, and a sled deck on it as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I have to order all the parts for this Denali. Shouldn't take too long to get it done, obviously. He doesn't want me to change the color on it, so that's fine. Uh, the color already looks nice as it, as it is. Pretty nice gray i guess but i'm gonna go ahead and order up some parts and then get this done and out of the way and my buddy is actually still here i don't know where exactly where he is right now but he's still here to help me out uh with the projects and vehicles and customer vehicles so yeah, i'm gonna go order the parts and then we should be on the way to get it done Alrighty, well got all the parts ordered for the truck so alrighty, well i'm in the 3d editor right now for this truck this is exactly what he wanted he wanted some tiz wheel setup uh looks pretty nice he wants the chains on the front he wants the same color that's already got on it and he wanted a 15 inch exhaust tip sled deck and then a draw pitch with a gooseneck in the front so that's basically all we had to order was a twin turbo tis, the wheels and tires the mud flaps i forgot about those I already have i'm pretty sure i already got one of these tso's exhaust tips and then on the sled deck as well so that's basically everything that he wants done with his truck so currently it's been about a week and a half being at the shop here me and my buddy been putting in a lot of work and paint into this customer's truck he wants it done we just gotta put the sled deck on it it just arrived at the shop so my buddy brought it into the shop we are gonna go ahead and put that on the truck as well as i pulled in it looked like another customer was here so we can go ahead and deal with that after here is what we got done kg1 forged tiz tiz wheels look these wheels actually look really nice I, they're pretty clean i like those got the draw pitch on there and then we got gooseneck up in there and then we got the 15 inch exhaust tip put on there so now me and my buddy we're gonna go ahead and put the sled deck on the truck as well oh oh yeah okay this sled deck was way heavier than expected i didn't expect the sled deck to be that heavy yeah we couldn't quiet the truck down. Alrighty, well, I just called the guy up on this truck, and he'll be here in about, like, half an hour to come pick it up. I guess we could just go ahead and pull this Dodge in. I guess the keys are underneath the wheel well here, so there they are. That's new. Never seen that in a truck before. That's actually pretty cool at the same time. But, yeah, I'm not too entirely sure what to do with this truck. He didn't exactly specify, but he did say make it a SEMA truck, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Go ahead up on the 3D iPad here, see what I can come up with. Very well, up on the uh, 3D iPad here, this is what I came up with for the build. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of it and show him this is, if this is what he will want. Not sure if I wanna do the color of the rims this way, but. So yeah, I might just do it this way. Red rims, red lift kit, water coated of course. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send him the picture and see if that's what he wants. Alrighty, well, that's exactly what he wanted. Uh, different color of choice, of course, but we're 
Got to go ahead and order up the uh, parts for this Dodge, and then I can go ahead and get to work. Got to go ahead and get everything ordered, and then we should all be good to go to get this project underway. Alrighty, and off the customer truck, we made about $63,000. That was his budget, and that's what we got him up to. So now I can go ahead and order all the parts for the Dodge. Alrighty, well, it's been about a month, and we've been steady working on this truck. And let me tell you, it took a while, as you guys can see, it's snow, and there's ice all over this road I'm just trying not to you know hit a ice patch here black ice we are gonna go over to the shop and I'll catch you guys in a second oh no 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 oh my head hurts oh my gosh oh that don't look too good oh does it still run yeah she still runs oh Man, this truck's a lot heavier than I thought, but the cop, cop showed up. I ended up calling the cops and let them know that I crashed my truck, but we got it pushed it a little bit closer to the street so the tow truck can come and get it. Might just cancel the tow truck since my shop's like right there. I gotta go to the hospital and get checked now. Well, boys and girls, I just getting out of the hospital. My buddy brought me my truck from my storage, so I guess let's go over back over to the shop and then we can see exactly what he got done to the Dodge. I unfortunately could not finish helping him put the lift kit and that on it because obviously totaled my truck and I had to go to the hospital. Severe back pain, it's nothing, to, nothing to really worry about, but I should be all good. So, alrighty, just, uh, just pulling up to the shop, man. I can't believe it's starting to snow already, or still snowing. I meant to say. Oh, the cops still there. Okay, kind of curious to know where they put my Dodge, because I do want to rebuild it. I know it's totaled. All right, well as you guys can see, the Dodge is completely totaled. Which is completely fine. I can find, I can easily find parts for it as there's a lot of second gens around the area. So I do want to uh, get it rebuilt. And why is the windshield? Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the uh, SEMA build. This thing is came out pretty good. I like it. Color match brims, powder coated suspension. I like the blue instead of the red. So I guess that's what he wanted. He wanted was the blue powder coated suspension. He liked that better than the red. I wanted to do chrome, chrome forge wheels, but really didn't have that option with these type of rims. So we went with the uh, color match with the truck, the gray. Uh, it looks like it. We he put wheel lights on it. We got rock lights on it as well. I think so. Uh, but yeah, this thing is massive. And with that 10 inch exhaust tip, this thing sounds good. She lights up like a Christmas tree. Look at that. Ooh -wee. We'll just go up here in front of the cop. Oh, dude, this thing is actually sick. All right, let's go ahead and take it back to the shop. I'll send him the picture and then I'll let him know that his truck is currently done. All righty, well, the second, the other customer came and got his Dodge. I told him exactly what happened and why it took so long. But we have another Dodge long bed that just pulled up he wanted me to make it a reliable good looking work truck that we're gonna go ahead and just pull this in front of the shop turn his headlights off so the battery does not die and we are gonna go ahead and just pull this up right here take a look at the tablet and then send him some screenshots and pictures of what i think a best looking work truck work rig would look like all right well i sent him a few pictures and he picked the uh one that he wanted and we both agreed on it because it does look super clean and good but i build plan for about a couple weeks now so i already have all the parts ordered so i'm just gonna go ahead and shut the door since it is freezing in here now i gotta turn on my uh my jet heater and then we can go ahead and get this project going here. But yeah, we could take the wheels and tires off, exchange them out. I already got the wheels and tires for it. Uh, like I said, I already got everything for the truck. It's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and just change the wheels and tires for right now. All right, so we got the wheels and tires on. It's sitting on graps right now. Kept the same lift kit because it don't really need a lift if it's going to be a work truck. It don't make no sense to have a lift kit on it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do everything else and uh, show you guys what it looks like after all right well about five hours later we finally got the dodge completed here is the here's the customer's complete fully custom work truck everything is lighted powder coated suspension of course my buddy helped me with that it was red even these light up dude there's led lights on this the mirrors the cab lights the rock lights everything we got we got the uh custom aftermarket tail lights draw pitch off-road bumpers huge Axle dump tip, by gen headlights, and then the uh, the billet mesh grill. And man, let me tell you, this truck looks very good. So let's go ahead and give her a start up. Why don't we? Oh, yeah, 
Ooh. He sounds really good. So I guess let's go ahead and just stick her up over here and wait for the customer to come and get it. Hopefully he comes and get it because he did pay a pretty good penny to get it done. But I think that's all we got time for today. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.